<laughs> that was good. All right. I, was, I, I, was, I thought we were doing something else for a second. No, we're just going to do oh, the brownies for a bit. Okay. Sorry, I'm tired today. Here we go. Okay, this is make uh, issue at 61. Yep. And we finally have it. Sorry, it was coming soon, but now it's no longer coming soon. It's now it's already here. Yep. It's here. You can pick it up. We have some in the in stock right now. You can even get yeah. a discount code. Yeah, it's real. This happened. Wow. So it's got Naomi Wu on the cover, and it's got some really cool interviews. Yeah, there's a lot of amazing women in Shenzhen. This is their story. It's in the pages of Make. Yeah. This is... Um, this is Rainbow Lightbox. Is kind I'll of say besides the Lady Ada one, my favorite one. Yeah. This is like some cool pictures of Naomi. But I, I live with a magazine. Hacking, cover, so. 3D printing, wearables, and other people in Shenzhen community making cool stuff. Yep. So pick up a copy. We have them in stock. There's a few right left. Now. They went fast. We they did go fast. Okay. Next up, we got some books. Okay, we've got Charles Platt, Easy Electronics. Um, this is a really nice book. It's it's simple. It's very colorful. The diagrams are just really great. Um, I think this is a good like you know you want to spend a weekend or two, and you just want to learn about electronics. It, it's very basic. There's no microcontrollers. But you get a sense of voltage and resistance and current, and what I, what I like is it's very hands-on. Yep. So, um, especially, the, again, the diagrams are really good, and th- he's a very good writer. He's one, written a lot of electronics books. Charles so Platt is probably one of the most prolific, best authors about learning electronics. Mm-hmm. Hands down. Okay, next up, speaking of good books and friends of Adafruit, Mark This is DeVink. a book from Mark DeVink. Things started with soldering. Um, this book I wrote a little bit of a foreword for, yep. and it's finally out. Um, this book covers everything about soldering, desoldering, splices, heat shrink, tools, wick. I mean, it, you know, on one hand, you can, you can learn a lot of the stuff just by doing it and eventually catching on. Or you can just read this book and you'll just learn everything at once and you won't, like, forget. You know, you won't have to realize later how to do things the right way. Yep. Because there are many non-intuitive tricks to soldering. And Mark DeVink is like a pro. He, he teaches at university. Books are low cost. This will save you hours, days, years of frustration. And it's a good gift. Um, pair it with a kit or with a toolkit yep. and uh, people can get building. Okay. Next up, we have Adabox 06 standalone yeah. in the store. Woo. Just in time. Yep. Shipped this about a month and a half ago. Now this is, if you didn't have an Adabox, but you want to get an Adabox, maybe you're just subscribing now and like, oh, I want to go collect all those other ones. Yeah. You can. Not everything is in there, there, but there is still surprises once in a while. Yes, you don't get as much stuff as if you ordered um, yep. you ordered the Adabox subscription, but you get a lot. This is an introduction to CircuitPython, and in um, this project, um, you'll get a Circuit Playground Express. You'll load CircuitPython onto it. You'll build a lot of projects. This was a holiday box. Um, so we have a ho- couple holiday-themed projects. We also have some everyday projects from making fruit drums. Yeah to a magic wand, um, to like, you know, learning how to use a motor. And people made some other fun projects afterwards and they posted them up. We give you, everything you see here, you get batteries, a battery case, um, alligator clips, alligator clips with wires, motor, uh, magnetic clips. Yeah, and it's standalone and it's meant to do those projects. You don't need to buy anything else. You, no, everything it's no soldering, there. nothing yeah. else required. It just is what it is. Okay, next up, these are cute. These are, Three in one cables. These you you asked for these. You you yep. requested. You said I really want us to carry these. Yeah, I kept buying them. I'm like, why don't we just stock these? So we stock them. So these cables, they're kind of funky. So they're like three in one cables. So you can use it to charge um, micro USB. I mean it has a USB A on the other side. Your standard USB A. And it has micro USB. And then if you have a USB C device, you pop this on and uh, now you're USB C in. And if you're like, oh, well, no, I have a, a lightning, you know, iOS device, plug this in, and it shows up as, like, a proper charge sync cable, too. So it's like you, you don't get the warning. It actually works. And it can do data or charge. So it's not some, – some of these cables are cheaper, and they're only charging. These actually do data and charge. So they're good for everything. You know, you can use them with a mic controller, Raspberry Pi, your Switch, your phone, your, your GPS, your – whatever it is that you have, your watch – Whatever it is, uh, this is the now the three most popular USB interfaces: micro USB, USB C, and Lightning. And the cable is nice and thick. It, it does pass current quite well, so you can use it for high current charging as well. 
And um, <coughs> what's nice is that there's I've used no, it for everything. There's no way to mix up and accidentally connect two things at once. Yeah. You can only connect can one Can you item. put a circuit playground on it? It has a bonus feature. So now it looks like a little person. Like, hey, look Hi. at me. Hey. Hi, look, I'm here, dong, to, dong, dong. I'm here to help you code. I got little okay. hands. So yeah, this is uh, right. fun. Okay, useful cables. You only have to carry one cable. It even has a nice um, little Velcro strap. So you can keep it tidy. Battle tested. Battle tested. Lady yeah. approved. Okay. I use these. It's got this nice fabric cover too. So it's, just, it's a good cable. Uh, are you ready? Mm-hmm. Here we go. We got cases of all colors, shapes, sizes, except for it's all the same size. It's all the same size, all the same all shape. All the same shape. But different colors. I suggest Adafruit Black. But we have purple. But we also have purple. You have royal blue, yeah. light blue, yeah. Orange yeah. and red. Yeah, and get a green for some reason. And this is what it looks like with a human hand. With a human hand. And on the inside, you can store things like a metro. I got these. Yeah, with with we had some other time. kits that I got this with. I ordered something online and it came with this as a case, and I was like, wow, this case is the perfect size. Yes. It fits exactly. All of the most common microcontroller circuit, you know, single board computer, breadboard. I can show it on the overhead. Yeah. It's it's really nice and it's got um this pocket. So it's just like the right size. Like so you can see you can put your half size breadboard and you know you can glue to it. It's got this kind of velveteen in here, but you can un um unstick this, make this portable. You can close this up. Right you, can, it, you can write with a Sharpie on it to say what's in it what's in it. Yeah, you can All sorts of you things. can store stuff chat too. over here. Yeah, I like to write on a Sharpie. This one's nice and clean. Yeah. There's a nice little uh uh, like a Portable hack pack. Hack pack thing, and then you can zip it closed. Yeah. I like that it's soft, so you can put it in your bag and it yeah. won't like cut up or break something. Right on it, and then when you're ready to go, you unzip it and yeah, then. Yeah, maybe we'll do like a circuit flat. playground pack or something like that. Yeah, I thought this would be good for you know it's actually it, it's less expensive than some nice plastic boxes. Yeah. But yeah, you can you can fit stuff in here. Yep. It does not fit the. Th Twin hinges of death, but yeah. it fits most electronic parts. Um, okay. So I think this is really great. So we got them in a bunch of different colors. Yeah. So you can color pack. But for wearables, you can put stuff in it, cables out, put Velcro on it. Like it's kind travel, of all around, yeah. It's like it's like I know that it's fun to put stuff in DigiKey boxes, but eventually you're like, I want something better than that. This is the perfect size. Yeah. Okay. Next up, this is super fun. Everybody's making cardboard stuff. I feel like pinball. You're not left out. You can you can get an entire pinball machine made out of cardboard. Yeah, this thing is really hard to show on the overhead, so. Yeah, well, we'll, like we'll, we have a video. we'll, we'll back out of the camera a little bit and we'll try to show it. But yeah, this is uh, the Pinbox 3000. Yeah. So you've got, you know, it comes, this is the, that's the basic kit, but it comes with a bunch of cutouts as well. Yeah. So here, you can hold this. So this one is just the basic, watch out, I'm gonna grab these marbles. So yeah, it comes with these marbles. Oh, these are marbles. You can play. Yeah, and this one we started to decorate. This yeah. other one takes Bitcoin. Yeah, this one is Bitcoin. Hold on, so this is, this is really big. Blockchain and. So this one yeah. is. I want to grab the marble. Yeah, this. grab the marbles. Okay. So you can see you get cardboard cutouts. You can make um, like little things that you bump into. So this is where the blockchain goes. And then you can also what what you've seen people do is they had a circuit playground or some like circuit stickers or LEDs. You can decorate it. You can glue LEDs around it or sensors. Play? Well, I, I want it, but I don't want to get hurt. Yeah. I don't want to get well, hurt. Well, you're gonna get hurt. Well, I don't want to get hurt. Oh, I already I knocked it over. So yeah. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Because right, well. I'm, I'm not on the other surface. Okay. okay go. Go. Okay. I, yeah. It's I hard tried. to do live pinballing. Okay. This is it. I'll hold it up. But um, it doesn't come with stickers. We sell we sell stickers, of course, in the store, and you can decorate and sharpie and, and paint all you like. Um, we saw Pinbox at Maker Fair, and and like people loved them. They're they're a great gift, and it's. Surprisingly fun for being made completely out of cardboard. Everything's made out of cardboard now. Nintendo's doing it. Google's doing it. Everyone's doing it. They're the original. Okay. The Next original up. cardboard. The star of the show tonight besides you lady in our community is... The Feather 328. Yay! This is a retro Feather, so I'm kind of backtracking. Because we had enough people who are like, oh, you know, I have old Arduino code that I really want to run with the Feather uh, system, and you don't have a 328-based Feather. So this one uses an Atmega 328, uh, and, and I pair it with a USB serial chip, and it basically lets you run like classic Arduino Uno code, but it's in a feather shape. It comes with a battery, charger, and all that good stuff. And we have like 50 plus feather wings that you can pick and choose from. Um, 
we're always pushing the boundaries of making bigger and better feathers, but I thought it would be good to maybe make a simpler one. Yep. A lot of people want their Arduino projects in a small form factor that's lower cost, more portable. And there, there could be some code, you know, there's some libraries in code that, uh, that is very um, specific to yeah. the Arduino chipset. And so that's where this would benefit a lot. If you, know, if you don't need to use the 328, we recommend um, the M0 chips or the ESP32. But, you know, once in a while people are like, look, you know, I want to stay with something I know and love. This is it. Okay. So this is a 328. I can shut on the overhead. Yeah, let's go to the overhead. So it's breadboard friendly. It comes with a micro USB connection. This is a USB serial. This is the reset button, so you can reset it. Um, this is the chip itself, and it comes with an 8 megahertz crystal. The whole thing runs at 3.3 volts because the entire feather system runs at 3.3 volts. Um, but it, it's a standard Arduino configuration. So it's, it's supported within the Arduino IDE. Comes with a LiPo battery charger port, and it automatically charges when you plug it into USB. You can use your twelve dollars and fifty cents. That's bonkers. Three one, yeah, three in one cable, and then it has all the header pins. Uh, it has two RX and TX LEDs, and it you know works just fine with all of our feather wings. Um, it doesn't work well with the UART ones, like the GPS, because the GPS uses the serial connections. But all the other sensors, the you know the displays, the sensors, um, the LEDs. The OLEDs, all that good stuff works perfectly fine with this. And, you know, you have that standard feather form factor. So another feather to add to the mix. Okay. And with that, Lady Ada is... Let's do our recap. Ready? Okay. We've got the Make Volume 61 Cyborg and the Sino Bit in stock. Pick one up and check out Shenzhen Makers. Charles Platt, who's written some really amazing complex electronic books, now has an easy electronics books. Great diagrams to get you started with electronics. Maybe you want to learn how to solder. Uh, Mark DeVink, friend of Adafruit and Make Contributor, wrote a great book all about soldering, desoldering, rework, and all that. Adabox 006, if you missed it, you now have it in stock. It doesn't have all the extras, but you can get started with Circuit Python. That's the theme of this one. Blink it purple, Circuit Playground Express, and all these goodies make dozens of projects. We have a three in one cable. Ooh, it's a cable, it's micro USB, but it's also USB-C and it's also lightning. Wow, it's everything. We have these handy, hand-sized little zipper cases. Fits your Metro, fits your Raspberry Pi, fits your half-size breadboard, fits your feather, fits your TNC, fits any kind of microcontroller. They're small, they come in multiple colors and uh, they have a little pocket as well for storing things. They're so handy. The Pinbox 3000, make your own cardboard pinball machine. You can decorate it, add electronics, and do all sorts of cool stuff with this extremely fun pinball machine that fits on your desk. And finally, the Feather 328P. Take your Atmega 328P projects, and you can use them with the Feather ecosystem. It comes with a battery charger, Atmega 328, running at 8 megahertz, 3.3 volts, but it works with Feather. So anything you have that's Arduino compatible can now join in with a Feather Fun.